AITA for telling my seal to stop talking about her miscarriage? My 37M wife, 37F, is pregnant with our first bio child. We tried to have a baby in our 20s, went through fertility treatments, and nothing worked. This pregnancy was a huge surprise and is a high-risk pregnancy. My wife is 20 weeks now. My brother and Sil have three kids. Aged 5'8", Sil was pregnant again this summer and had a miscarriage at 21 weeks. They were obviously devastated and we felt awful for them. My Sil talks about her miscarriage a lot. Which is understandable. But it has been making my wife really anxious so I first ask my brother if they he and Sil, can just stop bringing the miscarriage up in front of my wife. He said sure, and stopped, but Sil didn't, so I asked her too, and she said that she will try. She didn't stop. Yesterday they came to visit us with the kids to stay a couple of days for Halloween. At lunch, my Sil said to my wife 20 weeks now huh, I remember feeling the baby at 20 weeks. Sadly we lost him at 21 and my wife had a panic attack. We, wife and I, left the room, and I came back 30 minutes later and just lost it at my sill. I told her to just for once shut the hell up about her miscarriage. I feel like an ass, really. Ida? I'm going with NTA. If it wasn't for her remark about, I remember at 20. But we lost him at 21. I'd maybe be on the fence. But this feels like she's doing it intentionally. Pregnancy is difficult enough already without someone trying to make it more stressful for that person. It's fine to talk about your past. And even to dwell on it and feel the sting. But that doesn't mean you get to try to make someone else feel that way. NTA. I am not going with NAH because at some point, Sil needs to be able to read the room. You do not tell a pregnant woman, oh this is right where I was when I had my miscarriage. Because it is at best tone deaf and at worst, cruel. I do not have kids, but had a sister who had a later term miscarriage. A stillborn, at about 5 months pregnant. It was awful, when I have pregnant friends. I do not share that story. I had two friends who talked about some similar symptoms of what happened with my sister. But they aren't very specific. One being a lower back pain. Both times. I told my friends, take back pain seriously and call your doctor, not, my sister had a similar pain. And her baby died, because that's not helpful at all. Your sill has had time to process. And isn't just sharing her sadness but making your wife's pregnancy about her loss. Which is totally inappropriate. Sure, your delivery could have been softer. But at that time your sill had deliberately told your wife she lost her baby at this same stage. Setting your wife fully in a panic. NTA. Your sill is allowed to grieve her loss. But not at the expense of your wife's sanity. Your wife waited a long time for this baby and deserves to enjoy every moment of the pregnancy. Surely there are other people in her life your sill can share her thoughts with. It's not fair that your brother and his wife lost their baby. But it's also not fair for her to cause your wife extra stress and anxiety during her pregnancy. I hope you can figure out a way to tactfully get your sill to stop discussing such a distressing topic with your wife. Congratulations on your surprise pregnancy. I hope all goes well. In Ta, the fact you didn't remove your shoe and bash her head in with it shows remarkable restraint. I've had multiple miscarriages, and am now 42 in 33 weeks. If she had said anything like that to me, I'd have gagged her with dirty gym socks. There's a time and a place for those comments. She is allowed to grieve. But that's not what she's doing she's being a nta i understand that having a miscarriage is devastating been there and you do need to talk about it but your sill seems to be making unnecessarily unsettling and sensationalist statements to your wife the tone of what she's saying almost seems deliberate nta 
lost a baby at 18 weeks and would never dream of acting like this. She should be more sensitive to your wife not less. NTA. Sil has the right to mourn her lost baby. But she also has the duty to respect your wife and your desire to avoid such a grim subject. Especially because it hurts your wife. NTA. If your Sil knows the pain of losing a baby, she should be able to understand the fear this would put on your wife. Best of luck. NTA I understand why your wife is so upset and why hearing that sent her into a panic attack. I had a high-risk pregnancy for my second. After multiple miscarriages. So get it. It is not an easy time at all. Your Sil shouldn't say things like that to her. As I'm assuming she full well knows the history and that it's a high-risk pregnancy so should know. Better. 21 weeks though. Phew. That's not a miscarriage but you're still giving birth to a dead baby that can't survive even in the NICU. Most people have a funeral for babies that die in utero at this stage and onward. It's only been a scant few months. Seeing your wife at the same stage of pregnancy must be a huge trigger for her. Maybe a little distance is needed right now. It's like she is secretly wishing for your wife to have a miscarriage too. NTA sounds like Sil is doing it on purpose to upset your wife. Everyone knows you don't talk to pregnant women about your poor pregnancy experiences you less they are okay with it. My best friend is pregnant right now. I just had a miscarriage. I told her Hera happened but we aren't talking about it because I don't want to stress her out and I can grieve my loss in other ways. No you are NTA. You made the original request and it was ignored. You are in a high risk pregnancy and your wife was in the middle of a panic attack of course you lost the plot. What she was saying to your wife was absolutely outrageous. You are not an ass in any way. I think the way you are looking out for your wife is lovely. NTA. I do understand that a miscarriage is a traumatic thing. But it doesn't feel like the Sil is talking about it because she is sad. It feels like she is talking about it just to be the center of attention or because she is jealous of your wife because she is pregnant and want to make her feel bad. NTA. I had a late-term miscarriage a few years ago. I've since been blessed with a gorgeous healthy baby. So I understand the devastation especially considering you have to birth your baby when it's a late-term miscarriage. That been said I would never in my wildest dreams say anything about a miscarriage to any pregnant woman let alone a woman with a high-risk pregnancy purely because I know the anxiety it would cause. I'm trying to understand why you still would say that and I'm coming up empty. I am truest sorry for her loss. The pain is honestly indescribable. However, that doesn't give anyone the right to callous, insensitive. NTA. She caused your wife to have a panic attack. You understand she is going through a loss and you respect that. You have only asked her to stop talking about this to her in front of your wife due to the stress it causes her and she refused to do that. That's on her. I would kick them both out and tell them not to come back till they are prepared to be decent people. I'd probably swerve hanging with your brother and Sill until your wife gives birth. Explain why to your brother. If everyone's an adult, nobody's gonna lose any sleep about a few weeks distance to preserve your wife's mental health. Good luck. Oh. And. NTA. Definitely NTA. I would not spend any more time with her until the baby is born. I had a stillbirth and it was. And still is. Totally devastating. I don't talk about it to pregnant women because they have enough stress unless one. They ask her to. They mention a doctor not taking them seriously and say that maybe the doctor knows better than. They do. My loss could have been prevented if the doctor had run the test I'd asked for but he thought it wasn't necessary. 
so it wasn't run. You are NTA and you need to avoid your sill right now. If she asks why tell her honestly that she's putting your baby at risk because constantly raising. Your wife's blood pressure is seriously not good for either of them. I'd even go too far as to have your wife block her on her phone and social media. And have any contact go through you. With your wife's consent of course. But given how much stress this is causing this might come as a relief if you suggest it. NTA. While I understand your sister-in-law is grieving. And I hope she is receiving therapy and perhaps even on medication to help with it. She literally does not care how it's affecting your wife. Honestly. If she can't stop talking about it. And is getting professional help. I would keep your distance from even having her around. After all. When your wife gives birth. It will set your sister-in-law off even worse. NTA. Your SIL's loss is tragic and I definitely don't expect her to be over it yet. She's probably experiencing a crazy amount of emotions still and being around another pregnancy is probably triggering, but she doesn't need to ruin your wife's pregnancy and give her so much anxiety. I say this as someone who has experienced multiple miscarriages. Syl is very much in the wrong and she needs help. I would stop seeing her for a while so that you and your wife don't have to be subjected to your SIL's grief and so your SIL has time to heal and hopefully get some therapy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.